he's up in here, right? Because I'm pretty sure that, you know, with us, with the, with the, with the folk of ethnicity, we, you know, we some of the best chicken eaters, but ain't it hard to go in the church's chicken now that they, that there's any Arabs in here? Because I'm going to do this joke. <laughs> Chicken serious now when you go in there and it's like one of these Arabic or like Pakistani and Indian looking dude with a turban on, right? <laughs> you know, because the beauty of chicken, the beauty of the people that work in churches, chicken, KFC, and all this, is that you know somewhere along the line, somebody showed them how to fry chicken. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Like they was in a, in a, in a basement of a church of a grease, you know, down there with the grease on the floor, and they know how to walk around with the grease and everything. <laughs> So could you imagine if you could like go over to Arabia and see the church's chicken training store over there? <laughs> right? Could you imagine, you know, you know, because you know they wouldn't have like a storefront, you know, like we got over here. They would have like like how we got over here, turkey fries out there and everything, dropping the wings and could you imagine that the manager of the thing how be talking to him? I beat, I told you, you need to go out there and flower all the chicken wings. Make sure when you chop the okra, you chop it with... And then, and then if they don't talk and you hear Because this is the bone capital of the world, right? You know what I'm saying? So you're learning how to fry chicken in the middle of the dungeon in the bone capital of the world, right? I'd be, make sure you move the turkey fry before we get the food. I was like LeBron James, man. <laughs> I just 
the donkey didn't hang. I had my jerry curl wrapped on the rim and just hang on the rim. Yeah. 